Lieutenant Lassen became the first naval aviator and the fifth Navy man to be awarded the Medal of Honor for bravery in Vietnam. Ceremony today is a time-honored tradition that began with the commissioning of our first ship, a captured British schooner, Margareta, in 1775. Since then, thousands of ships have undergone this transition from silent hull to fully alive warship. Our commissioning crew, hereafter known as plank owners, are for our information and ready. Ladies and gentlemen, our ship sponsor, Mrs. Linda Barbara Lassen, is escorted today by Hospital Corpsman Master Chief Peter Palin, United States Navy, our Command Master Chief. Our principal speaker, Vice Admiral Edward Moore, Jr., Commander, Naval Surface Force, United States Pacific Fleet. the colors. Generation X, Generation Y, the younger generation, whatever letter they're putting on it these days, and you hear that they're not patriotic, they're not motivated, they're not as good as we were, the good old days and all that kind of stuff. Well, I got to tell you something, talking to these young men and women standing behind you who are going to put this ship to life today, just talk to them for about five minutes, and all that stuff about the younger generation is a bunch of baloney. It's not true. As a matter of fact, they're as dedicated and patriotic, and they're a hell of a lot smarter than any generation we've ever had. So to the parents out there today, you should feel justifiably proud. These are the finest young people in this country, and they serve our great country in these magnificent ships, no matter what the cost. This particular guided missile destroyer before you today is truly an awesome addition to America's defense capabilities. She's 9,000 tons of warship with the most advanced electronic and sensor systems, equipped with a full array of armament that allows her to dominate the sea while projecting naval power seven, several hundred miles inland. Lassen is a marvel of American industrial ingenuity. And by putting this powerful and complex vessel to sea, the United States Navy and the Lytton Ingalls team have accomplished a feat that is envied by every other seafaring nation for she is a remarkable testament to the shipbuilder's art. But as wonderful as technology is, it's only part of the story. Accomplishing the vital mission of protecting America and safeguarding our worldwide interests requires dedicated men and women. We need our nation's best young people to sail these amazing ships like Lassen. As many of you are aware, ships form personalities usually around the shared early experiences of the crew. Its prospective crew labors to gain identity also from a group of individuals who know little about each other to a team of seasoned professionals. The importance of this process cannot be underestimated. It is a strength unique, I believe, among the navies of the world and contributes to that sense of purpose and destiny unspoken 
yet felt, that has permeated the endeavors of American sailors throughout the last 200 years. This crew has worked tirelessly to make their ship and themselves ready for this time-honored ceremony, and more importantly, for the challenges that await them as they sail the oceans of the world. Rest assured, they'll be out there day and night working together with their teammates from the other services, protecting America's vital interests around the globe. Commander O'Connor, from this day forward, you will be known as Captain, the most revered title in the Naval Service. My compliments to you, Captain, and to your crew. You are all shining examples of what makes our armed forces and our Navy the best that our country has to offer. You have earned the privilege of being plank owners of this ship, the namesakes of Commander Lassen, United States Navy. Many of you know the story of Clyde Lassen, a native of Fort Myers. He was an extraordinary naval aviator who was bold, brave, and relentless. A total professional and natural leader, he demonstrated unparalleled dedication to duty and was fiercely loyal to his fellow aviators. On one special day in June 1968, he called on his courage, skill, and dedication, and he conducted one of the most daring rescues of downed aviators ever attempted. Battling darkness, enemy fire, a precarious landing zone, rapidly running out of fuel, and fighting to control his badly damaged aircraft, a young Lieutenant Junior Grade Lassen and his brave crew from Helicopter Support Squadron 7 made multiple attempts to save two downed shipmates. The young aircraft commander refused to give up on his brothers in arms and ultimately succeeded against all odds in pulling two grateful aviators from the certain hell of a North Vietnamese prison camp or an early grave. Clyde Lassen's flight that day was logged as a successful routine search and rescue mission. But we all know it was far from routine, and it earned him our nation's highest military honor. As a Medal of Honor recipient, his name is enshrined in the Pentagon's Hall of Heroes. And now his name is proudly emblazoned on the stern of this magnificent warship and on the uniforms of her crew. By naming this ship for Commander Lassen, we ensure that the memory of his unselfish deeds and invincible spirit will inspire generations of Americans who will sail in her. This great ship and its motto, From Courage, Life, will be a constant reminder to all who serve this nation of the importance of teamwork and of the loyalty that binds together those who go in harm's way. Admiral Moore, would you please place Lassen in commission? Will the guests please rise? Ship's company, attend. Hut. As authorized by the Secretary of the Navy and for the President of the United States, I hereby place United States ship Lassen in commission. May God bless and guide this warship and all who sail in her. I will now read my orders. From Chief of Naval Personnel to Commander Sean E. O'Connor, United States Navy. Subject, Bureau of Personnel Orders, number 0121 of 12 January 2001. Upon commissioning of USS Lassen, DDG-82, report for duty as commanding officer. Signed, G.L. Hoeing, Rear Admiral, Deputy Chief of Naval Personnel. Admiral Moe, United States Ship Lassen is in commission, and I have assumed command. You, Executive officer, set the first watch. Aye, sir. Officer to deck, set the watch. Aye, aye, sir. Officer to deck is the commanding officer's direct representative, and while on watch, he is responsible for the safety and smooth operation of the ship and crew. The long glass is a traditional symbol of an officer to deck's authority in a ship of the line. We are pleased to welcome today Commander Leroy Cook, Commander Lassen's co-pilot, who will pass the ship's long glass to Ensign Matt McKay, United States Navy, our first officer to deck. Sir, 
The watch is set. Very well. Captain, the watch is set. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, you'll soon see the last two H-2 helicopters on active duty with the Navy attached to HSL-84. They have flown all the way from California to be with us today to honor Commander Lassen's legacy in commemoration of Commander Lassen's rescue. The H-2s will illuminate their lights, the tactic Commander Lassen used to effect the rescue of our downed aviators. Ladies, I would be honored if you would join me and give the order to man your ship and bring her to life. Officers and crew of Lassen, man our ship and bring her to life. Ladies and gentlemen, the crew of USS Lassen salutes you. We are proud to serve in your great Navy. Ready? Two. <laughs> Captain, the ship is manned and ready. Very well. Commodore Ritchie, USS Lassen is manned and ready, and I report for duty to Destroyer Squadron 23. Command Master Chief, muster the crew. Executive officer, start main engines, taking all lines. To the crew of Lassen, come sail with me in our country's name. This adventure is just beginning. Wow, that feels good to finally be able to say that. <laughs> Ship's company, parade, rest. To our heroic namesake, Commander Clyde Lassen, for his exemplary leadership, courage, and audacity. His spirit will carry this ship and crew to victory. To our family and friends who supported us through the many challenges and now celebrate with us our successes. Your presence makes it all worthwhile. A good ship's crew is much like a family, or familia, as my mentor Roy Balcon has taught me. In our Lassen family, we have two terrific mothers in the XO and the Command Master Chief, although that may not be how they would like me to articulate their roles. And one father in the Commanding Officer. We have mostly good sons and daughters, maybe a few black sheep, but most importantly, we share the common bond of the Navy family. We are shipmates. There are a few guarantees in this world, but I can guarantee this crew of shipmates will continue to pour their hearts and souls towards Lassen's and this country's success. We will be ready when called. Thank you.